the design, explained in another video, was discussed a lot, but little understood. This is not experimental design. It has been used for decades in the Netherlands. The most important feature of this design is this protective traffic island. So let's see what it looks like in reality. It comes in many different sizes, but the shape is always similar. And so is the reason of its existence, which is protecting cyclists from motorized traffic. Sometimes it is very large. And sometimes it is very small. It makes turning in the cycle path impossible for cars. The swerve to the right is not slowing cyclists down at all. The advanced position of the cyclists makes that they are gone before the car can make the turn, even if they have green at the same time. which mostly is not the case, especially at larger junctions, where turning cars have a different green face from the cyclists. The fact that cyclists have to make a left turn on the outside of the junction is no problem either. The green phase of the second part of the turn is usually coordinated with the first part. The second part can be made almost instantly after the first. There are no long waiting times. The separate green faces are what makes this type of junction design safe. 